Okay. What questions y'all have? Coach, what do you think the biggest challenge for you guys out there today? Oh, well, um, obviously Clemson is a very good football team. They uh, did what they had to do to win the ball game. I thought Taj played a good game. Sammy did his thing. Uh, you know, that big uh, touchdown run for him. Just a great job of breaking a tackle and taking it to the house. Um, you know, both teams, I thought, had bright moments. I thought both teams played hard. Came down to at least we got it to the point we get it you know, to an onside kick. Uh, it'd have been interesting to, interesting to know what would have happened if we had made that uh, short range field goal and got within seven. I'm sure they'd have played defense a little bit differently too. Or at least we'd have had a shot to tie at that point. But uh, it was, uh, you know, it was a moot point after that. We just had to try to score and get in position. To, uh, you know, kick an onside kick give us a chance for victory. But um, we didn't get it done. We got to give them credit for the job they did. And, uh, we got to, you know, correct whatever mistakes we correct and then move forward. But I thought there was a lot of positive things that happened. I thought. Uh, Colin Barber did a good job of kicking off, and I thought our coverage team did a really fantastic job on the kickoff coverage. I thought Colin also punted extremely well. Uh, I think we had some receivers make some great grabs. I thought Gurley ran extremely well. Uh, fortunately, on that first run, he, he strained the squad. Uh, and I really I was surprised he came back in the game, to be honest with you. Uh, had a, he, he came back early in the game after that, and just was not effective at all. And then by the end of the game, he recovered enough to start doing, doing his top early ish runs. Um, but um, trying to think of some other things that happened throughout the game. Just, uh, of course, uh, Coach Lilly did a good job on the design of the uh, fake punt and uh, got that when we needed it to put seven on the board. Uh, got another fourth down conversion uh, earlier in the game that uh, helped us put seven. So, you know, there was, there was some good things. I thought our defense at times did some very good things. You know, the fumble deep in the territory didn't help. Uh, you know, gave a really short, short field in that situation. In a close ball game, you just you can't afford it. So, uh, anyway, next question. Coach, you guys play in a lot of tough environments week in, week out. How does this one compare to, the, to what you see week yeah. in, week out? Yeah, it's see. pretty typical, really. I mean, it's, it's tremendous. Atmosphere, without any question, I'm not – Clemson has here because they, they do have a great atmosphere, but we go to a lot of stadiums that have that type of atmosphere, so um, that's that's pretty typical for us. Coach, is this a good measure of who you thought your team was at this point? Uh, we learned a lot. I, I think um, I think we had some guys, you know, make some really gutty plays. I thought they played I thought they played tough uh, in a lot of situations. A couple plays got away from us uh, defensively. Uh, offensively, we uh, you know, we did a good job of moving the ball and scoring. I mean, it, you know, we got some scores and got some yards and all that kind of good stuff, but uh, we didn't win. And we didn't finish the one drive, but we had to kick a field goal. If we could have knocked it in. We wouldn't be worried about you know how high the snap was. Maybe on the extra point might have been a factor. Did some good things and did some things to get you beat. So we'll find out how good we are next week. How frustrating were those penalties? Yeah, there's some penalties that hurt us. Uh, there's some penalties we overcame and some penalties we couldn't overcome. And uh, you'll have to look at the tape just to see uh, exactly what happened on a couple of them. I wasn't quite sure, but uh, I'm sure the officials did a good job. Can you tell there were some times when um, some of your injuries or experience on defense sort of hurt you? Well, I mean, I don't want to call anybody out or anything like that. I mean, everybody's got injuries, everybody's got issues. Um, and we, we played the best that we had available at the time. And, uh, you know, I appreciate all the players' effort. We just uh, weren't good enough tonight to get it done. Clemson, we gave them credit. How frustrating was that, the drive to start the third quarter when it looked like y'all could have you know, maybe done something? But yeah, I mean, it had been nice to have something good happen there. You know, delay game was, I mean, it was, it was our fault as coaches. Uh, we did a bad
that job of uh, getting them out on the field quickly enough, especially to uh, be running a play where we get into our cadence and then try to make a change after we see what they're in and all that. It just takes too much time. And you, you could have called a timeout right off the get-go, but um, you know, it, just, uh, it was just a, just a bad job of coaching on my field. Do you expect early enough? Maybe a lack of execution or just us? Uh, the the pass protection, I thought, I, I think that when you play in a stadium where you're the opponent and, and there is a lot of crowd noise, you get to rely on the si silent cadence. And, and you don't really get the jump that you'd like to have with your own cadence. And when that happens, uh, sometimes you just don't get, you don't get out of your stance quick enough. And that's, that's really what happened a couple times. And, and then as the game went on, we got better at it. Uh, you know, a couple of a couple times it just uh, it hurts. Do you expect Gurley or Malcolm Mitchell to be affected next week? You know, uh, my best guess is that Malcolm could be, and uh, Gurley, it's 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 fifty fifty. I guess I just don't know on that one. I, I got Malcolm could be available. Yeah, I got I got a I got a feeling this is this might be worse than Todd's. Uh, he just hurt his knee. He got hurt uh, on the, uh, after Gurley scored and in, uh, in the end zone. Um, jumped up to celebrate with him. He came down here. Far deeper for the Buffalo Tech Open than the road test against the top 10 team. Coach, how come Marshall Morgan wasn't able to play for the game? Well, because he, we didn't let him play. Was it suspended or anything? No, what do you mean? Just didn't let him play. Mark Bielis did a good job, didn't he? What's that? Bielis did a pretty good job. Yeah, I thought Bielis did a good job. And, uh, you know, he, uh, you know, the field goal attempt we were getting ready to kick um, was just like a field goal. I think it was on the two yard line. It's just about set, right, set it up. So you, you feel like he would have uh, probably made that one as well. Uh, but yeah, he did a good job. Coach, it seems like you had a lot of potential playmakers for this as the season goes on on offense. And the receivers, all the receivers played well early. And when he did, Lynch, the fullbacks. Yeah. Did you learn anything on offense as far as any potential playmakers that you didn't think you had? No, I think those guys have already made plays before us in the past. We, we kind of expected them to. It's, it's sad we didn't have them. Malcolm's, the, you know, the, the part of the game that he brings to us with his speed and quickness and just, he's a, he's a competitor. Uh, it, it's a shame that uh, he wasn't able to finish. But we, we've got some good players. Uh, we'll, we'll be home. Uh, we'll be playing some conference play. We know how important that is. That beat South Carolina in three years. Uh, we've got to get ready. Coach, how do you summarize your quarterback's play today? Well, overall, I thought he played pretty good. The fumble, uh, you know, was unfortunate. We, we got to squeeze the ball better. And that, that, was a, that was a tough turnover right there. And uh, it cost us the short field and seven points. Uh, the pick, th that happened sometimes. It was a, it was a good scheme. Uh, their backside defensive end dropped into covers. They had a, what we call a fire zone. On the front side, picked up the blitz well. And then we had a, we had a route that was breaking from left to right. And as he, as he uh, let the ball loose, he didn't see the, the guy on the backside. And, and off of a place and fake and everything else, it's not like you're, you're dropped back in the pocket and you can see the whole field. So it, it, he just uh, did a good job of being in the right spot and uh, made a nice catch. Coach, uh, going for how upset are you going to be about the opportunities you guys might have missed? You stopped in two series in a row, got the ball. With a team like that, you have to capitalize. Yeah, we do. We, we, we had our chances. We got some good stops from our defense. Uh, I thought we had a good plan. I thought we did a good job of getting lined up. You know, they they go they do go fast, as fast as anybody we played. And, and uh, for a young bunch of guys to get lined up, be ready to play the next play, and uh, you know, we didn't give them any freebies because of uh, not being lined up, not being organized. So we did have some nice plays defensively. You know, a few lapses too, obviously. Um, but uh, you know, you're right. Got some stops in a, in a game of two pretty darn good offensive football teams. You gotta, you gotta find a way to get, get the lead, and get the chance. Going back to Murray, he had a couple, quite a few other sacks tonight. Is there anything in that line that, that needs to be adjusted? To 
Well, like I said before, um, I think I think a lot of it had to do with just not getting off the ball quick enough. Uh, I think the crowd always had a little something to do with that, especially uh, when you get into a rhythm uh, of your snap that's that you don't have sound. You're you're going off of a um, you know a guard basically tagging the center, letting the center know he can snap it at any moment. Uh, after a while, that gets a little rhythmic, and not only do we get off on the snap, they, they get off on the snap as well. But normally, if you have the ability to have your cadence and hear it, we can change it up enough to where um, we can get the jump on them. So I think that was the biggest problem. Obviously, that one time response going to be pretty big next Saturday. I mean, are you concerned about the performance over there? Uh, no, I think, I think once we, again, the times we got beat, in my opinion, we just got beat off the snap. We'll have our cadence next week. We'll have, if we're at South Carolina, it'd be a little bit tough on but I think it'll, it'll help with the cadence. Is there anything you can take away from I know you're not in the home of Vickers, but it's just odds out for a big chunk of the game, odds out for a big time. It's still the problem. It's still the problem. Yeah, well, you know, moving the ball's fun and all that, but uh, winning the game is what it's about. So, how much? We're not going to sell it like that. How much is the experience in the past couple of years having early losses? help you realize it's still 12? Yeah, I think our guys, uh, I don't see anybody in there ready to jump off a bridge or anything. I think they all know that. You know, that happens in, you know, that happens in football. If you play a really good football team, you could get beat. If you do, then you, you move on. And you, you continue to play well and get better and make corrections. And, uh, we're still learning a lot about this team. For, uh, and, and, you know, we will get some, uh, we'll get some firepower back defensively. Some more veteran play coming back, which will help us. I think it'll help some specials as well. Uh, I think that uh, Corey Moore will be back, but uh, Josh Harvey Clemens back. And I think Brendan Douglas will be back. There's another guy, and so he's supposed to be back. AJ Turman will be back. So there'll be at least four guys, you know, coming back uh, that I think will fortify our special teams and uh, fortify our defense as well. Good time. One more. Uh, Coach, what specific attributes of South Carolina are you guys focusing on going into next week? Well, what I saw on TV Thursday night was they're, they're up front, they're very big and physical, both sides of the ball. Um, you know, Connor Shaw is, is a very difficult quarterback to manage and, and how he runs the football. And, and uh, he's, he's, he threw the ball extremely well. Um, you know, Mike the, the Davis, their, their new back, really uh, played extremely well, looked very physical as a runner. Um, you know, they, they just they do a good job all the way around. Thank you. Thank you.